as we lengthen through the spine. Feeling that comfortable, passive stretch of the body. Noticing the spine and alignment. Imagine little spaces in between the spine as you breathe making their way up and down. Taking a brief body scan, maybe from the top of the head down towards the toes. Noticing part by part, how is your body feeling today? Without judgment or expectation or even labeling. Just notice with a compassionate awareness. Noticing the breath. Is it fast or slow, smooth or jagged, deep or shallow? And just noticing the natural quality of the breath today without judgment or expectation. Placing right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart now. And just tilting the head ever so slightly to the left. We're gonna become aware of the thoughts of the mind. So just imagining now any stories, any concerns, anything going on in the head today. Thinking about the future or the past, just allow these thoughts to pour into the heart space today. Imagine letting them go. And then imagining your heart space purifying these thoughts. Nourishing and nurturing them. You might wish to take this opportunity to set a heart's intention today. It might just be a word of loving kindness, peace forgiveness, whatever comes to mind for you today, whatever feels relevant. If nothing comes to mind, just the word positivity maybe. Allow it to pour down and plant it like a little seed deep in your heart space. Bring the head back to centre palms of the hands together. We drop the palms and place them over the closed eyes, shoulders down. Open your eyes in darkness when you're ready and just allow the hands to melt down from the face, opening your eyes in your own time. Lovely, just interlocking the fingers, turning the arms away. Arms come up. Drop the elbows and shoulders slightly. Create a bit of softening here as you lengthen through the spine. And just breathe. Smiling to yourself as you do so. And we're just gonna release the wrists, just circling the wrists. Give the wrists a little shake. Lovely. Just interlocking the fingers once again, changing across Whatever you did naturally, just swap it around, try not to think about it. Arms up, shoulders down, and again, eyes open or closed, just breathing in. Once again, just rotating those wrists. Lovely. We're going to take the right hand over to one side, take the left arm over, lengthening stretch. Moving over to the other side when you're ready. Moving in your own time with your own breath. Slight bend in the elbow to make space for the shoulder. Moving slowly and mindfully in time with your breath. Rotate the shoulders down, away from the ears, moving in time 
the breath once again, breathing in and breathing out to release. Breathing in, shoulders come up towards the ears. Out to release. This time we're going to take the arms out in front of us. Hands to shoulders, nice deep breath in. Roll the elbows up and breathing out, drop the jaw. Breathing in time with your breath. direction here, drawing the shoulder blades and elbows as close as you can. Breathing as you breathe out, release. And wonderful guys, resting the hands upon the knees, just turn the head over to the right side. Take a nice deep breath in here. As you breathe out, rotate the head and neck all the way round in a semicircle towards the opposite shoulder. Keep your heart space open. Breathing in as you arrive, breathing out on your journey. Looking across the horizons from one shoulder to the other this time, across the spaces that you're scanning, the ocean for boats. And then when we come back to centre this time, we're going to look up, drop the jaw. As you breathe out, drawing the chin towards the chest. Breathing down. Wonderful. This time, draw the head to centre. Tipping the head over to the right. Take the opposite hand to the right hand. To the side of the head, opposite hand can just rest down beside you. Or you can bring the back of the hand towards the opposite hip or thigh to increase the stretch. But try not to overstretch here. Close the eyes and just breathe. Wonderful guys, do the same on the other side. To bring the head over in the opposite direction. Opposite hand to temple. And again, just breathe. coming back to centre when you're ready. Just moving the block or cushion from underneath you. We're going to take the legs out wide and we're just going to move the right foot in towards the left leg. And we're going to slide that hand down and just making a fist with the wrist resting on that straight leg. So just breathing there. nourishing breaths into the side ribs, into that psoas muscle, that area of the sides of the body, cleansing breaths here, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth maybe, and then coming up nice and slowly taking the weight into the hands. We're gonna face now over that straight leg and we're just gonna fold forward. So you're not necessarily trying to get a, a straight spine, you're just curving over and just dropping the head down. So don't go too far, just using your hands to prop you up a little bit if it feels too deep for the back today. Just breathing there. up through the hands. So that straight leg, we're going to bend now, okay, and just shuffle 
the opposite foot forward a little bit and just resting the hand upon the hip we're just going to tilt that hip in and out kind of forwards and backwards You can use your hand to make a nice sweeping motion up and breathe it out back down. Breathe it in to come up and breathe it out to come down. Lovely. We're going to do the same on the other side. So this time, opening the legs out, moving the opposite foot in towards you, and this time sliding down. You can fist with that wrist, just resting, maybe. Just before the knee joint or just after, no stress or strain here. Just a wonderful passive stretch through the side ribs, the kidneys and the liver. It's a nice cleansing breath, cleansing posture here. slowly come back up take the weight into the hands turn your hips now over towards that straight leg and just begin to lower down so again no pulling or pushing you're not reaching for the foot you can just rest the hands either side of that leg bending the elbows and just drop the head so you don't want a perfectly straight spine or anything you're just surrendering into this posture now passive stretch more deep breaths here take the weight into the hands so you're looking over your straight leg simply stay as you are just bend that straight leg behind you now so you're making a triangle in front of you with the legs wonderful rest the hands upon the hip and just swing that hip forwards and backwards internally rotating that hip you can draw a semicircle coming up past the ears you breathe in that gentle back stretch and then breathing out to lower making space through the spine a wonderful opening and unfurling of the spine as you breathe and one more time Lovely guys, release the legs out in front of you, give them a little shake and a shimmer. And when you're ready, we're going to come onto all fours, so you can take a blanket under the knees if you need to. And if there are any ailments in the knees, it always feels good to support the joints here. Spreading the palms, spread the fingers, and just check that your wrists are roughly in line with your shoulders, and that your knees are roughly in line with your hips. You can have the wrist just a little bit further forward and the knees a little bit further back just to create a bit of space. And we're just going to rock the hips from side to side. And then opening up the shoulders, breathing in, bending the elbows slightly, sticking the bottom out. And as you breathe out, tucking those hips under and the chin under, curling, rounding the spine. Into our cat cows, breathing in, opening. Breathing out, curling under. Breathing in your own time with your own breath. Wonderful guys, coming back to an each position. We're going to circle the hips now in a clockwise position. Maybe closing your eyes to internalize the movement. Just notice how this feels today. If there's any resistance in the spine, any stiffness, you can just breathe it out, let it go. Make the movements as small or as big as you like. And then we're going to turn the hips in an anti clockwise position.
lovely. Draw the weight back now into a child's pose. So toes together, knees wide maybe. Or you can keep the knees together, arms out in front of you. If you tighten the shoulders, maybe a triangle with the hands feels nice here. And just drop the head down. One more deep breath here. And when you're ready, we'll come back to a neutral position. So we're going to come into threading the needle today. So you can tuck the toes under if you wish to. We're going to take the right hand in line with the face. The left arm comes up as you breathe in. As you breathe out, threading the arm under and dropping the head down. So just making sure your chin is tucked in slightly towards your chest. So this is option one with the elbow bent. Option two, arm up towards the ceiling. Or option three, the hand can rest on the opposite hip or thigh. So just see what feels good for you today. And just breathe there. Make sure the head is resting down. Make sure you feel easeful. Relaxed here, no stress or strain. back to that neutral position and slide it forward towards the front of your mat looking under your armpit now so that right hand is nice and far forward right arm is long and just breathe there Wonderful guys, sliding that hand back to centre, unthread your needle. We'll do the same on the other side when you're ready. So just swivel around so I can see you all. So this time, left hand in line with the face, right arm comes up. As you breathe out, threading the needle under. Tuck the chin in slightly so there's no stress or strain in the neck. The other hand stays down, option one, and come to whatever option you did on the other side to stay even and balanced. Again, just close your eyes here and breathe. left hand back to that neutral position then slide it forward reaching towards the front of your mat looking under that left armpit now wonderful guys lowering the elbow down we're going to unthread the needle taking both hands towards the front now. So lowering your elbows, lowering your forearms, coming into puppy dog. So you're sticking your bottom up, dropping the forehead down. Wonderful. And taking the weight forward now into sphinx pose. You can keep your blanket under your hips if you wish to. Elbows roughly in line with your shoulders a little further forward. And again, if you're finding the upper body, you're finding it hard to come up, just shuffle the elbows a little further away from the body. If there's any pinching in the lower back, making a triangle with the hands, maybe take the elbows a little wider. Just breathe it out there. Feet can come a little wider, as wide as the hips. And just looking a couple of feet in front of you, so try not to crane the neck to look up or horizontally, just looking down a few feet so you feel that length through the lower back, through the mid and upper back, through the back of the neck. 
there's a relaxed attentiveness here. Imagine your heart space opening now as you breathe. Imagine releasing any stresses from the adrenals, replenishing and nurturing this space now of the lower back and spine. This area that works so hard to regulate our body, our nervous system. Just breathe out any unwanted tension here. Wonderful guys, then resting one hand on top of the other, tilting the head over to one side, so resting on one cheek and just breathe there. Letting the whole body go completely. Saying to yourself, I surrender, I release with every breath. Turning the head over to the other side, so resting on the other cheek. Release completely. So opening out on the shoulders now, I'm just listening to instructions for a moment. What we're going to do is take the left arm nice and straight. We're going to press down with the right hand. You can keep your head resting down on the ground and just turn that right foot so that it's towards the outer edge of that straight leg. Okay, so when you're ready, do that together. Take your left arm out nice and straight. Right hand comes to the side like a little prop and you're going to rest your left cheek down and just push through that hand and just begin to bend the right leg so the foot comes down towards the ground. So you're getting a nice open twist here, opening out that shoulder. Breathing there. One more deep breath here. And then come back to centre. We'll do the same on the other side. So stacking one hand on top of the other. This time the right arm comes out beside you. Nice and long, palms facing down. Left hand presses down into the ground. And this time turning the left foot down. So you've got your nice open twist here. Wonderful guys, slowly come back to centre. We're just going to take both arms behind us now and come into locust posture, so resting the chin down. We're just going to take the right leg up towards the ceiling as high as you can and then release it down. This time just the left leg comes all the way up and back down. Do this once again on either side. left leg. This time we can take both legs away from the ground, upper body as well if that feels good for you. Stretch and lengthen here and then release back down. Lovely. Hands under the chins. So this time we're going to take opposite arm, opposite leg. So turning that right arm nice and straight, left leg hovers and then release back down. Deep breath in to prepare. Opposite hand, opposite leg, left arm, right leg, and bring back down. In your own time with your own breath. A couple more times on either side. Mm. 
wonderful guys pushing through the hands coming back onto all fours we're going to come to a downward dog now so you can move if you have that blanket there just move it aside tucking the toes under pushing back into your downward dog and just dropping the head down making a little space in the neck maybe a couple of yeses or noes with the head Pushing through the hands, look towards the space between the legs and just breathe here. Imagine any residue thoughts in the mind pouring out from the top of the head, letting go with every exhalation. Wonderful guys, bringing the feet a little closer into one another. We're going to come into a few leg raises, so raising the left leg up towards the ceiling and then lowering down. Right leg comes up and lowers down. One more time on either side, left leg comes up and down. And right leg comes up. This time we're going to bend the right knee, turn the heel in towards the bottom. The right knee turns up towards the sky. Look under that right armpit. And then lower down. Do the same on the other side. This time taking the left leg up. Turn the heel in towards the bottom, left knee comes up. Turn the left knee up towards the ceiling. And then release back down, wonderful. Bending one knee, then the other. Walking, stepping or jumping the feet towards the hands. Keeping the feet hip distance apart, we're gonna rest the body over the thighs, grabbing hold of opposite elbows. And just drop the head, breathing there. Sway the arms from side to side, forwards and backwards. Shaking the head a few more times. Any residue thoughts or problems, let them go. And then release the arms. We're gonna slowly curl up, vertebra by vertebra through the spine. Coming up to a comfortable posture. Standing into that scenario, take the shoulders away from the ears a few times. So in Tadasana, mountain pose, spreading the toes, arms resting beside you, close the eyes, imagine those roots going down from the soles of your feet. For you to feel supported and grounded. Wonderful guys, we're gonna take the feet a little wider, so heels facing in, toes out. And take a nice deep breath in, arms come up nice and slowly and then back down as you breathe out. See if you can really slow this down, make it mindful, breathing in slowly and mindfully, coming all the way up and slowly and mindfully all the way down. Lovely, bring the palms of the hands together horse position. Lovely, coming all the way up, turning the palms away from you. Lovely, so grabbing hold of if you have a belt nearby or strap, whatever it is you have. <laughs> Just taking that now and again this is optional, you can imagine that you're holding on to something here. But all we're doing is just taking the arms up, so bending those knees, arms stretching overhead. As you breathe back down, draw the arms down, straighten the legs. Deep breath in, arms come up, bend those knees. Just breathe, smile to yourself. And lowering down. Wonderful, bring the arms in line with the shoulders, bend the knees, twisting just from the upper body, so keep the hips facing forward. Just the upper body twists around, not too far as far as is comfortable for you today. And then straighten the legs, arms come over to the other side, bending the knees as you twist. One more time on either side. Take your time, there's no rush. Nowhere else you need to be, nothing else you need to do. You're just staying in this present moment. 
One more guys. This time we're going to take the arms up overhead and just drop the right hand behind you and the knees. Come opening out the shoulders like you have a bow and arrow behind you. Ready to take on anything in life. Come back up to centre. Dropping the opposite arm behind you. Bend the knees once again. Smiling to yourself as you awaken the spine and the hips. Lovely. Taking the arms overhead once again. This time I'm going to make a circle with the arms. You can bend the knees, draw a nice big circle. Just allow the spine to move in time with your breath, gently awakening each part of the spine and then moving in the opposite direction. Wonderful guys, this time we're going to fold our belts once and twice, taking the belt in the right hand, take the arms up and then swing the left hand behind you. You can keep the feet together this time or hip distance apart, bend the knees slightly if you want to, interlock the fingers if that's available to you. You've got an option here, we can take the weight into that right foot and just take the left leg over as though you're sat an imaginary bar stool here. Lovely, come back to centre, swap the hands over. The thumb comes up, bending at the elbow, sweeping the opposite hand. Trying to reach towards one another, bend the knees. This time, opposite leg over. And then release, release the belt away. Take the feet nice and wide, we're gonna breathe in. And breathe out. Lovely, breathing in. Imagine you're on top of a mountain, come up onto the tiptoes if that feels good. And breathe out. Well done, breathe in one more time. Go for it. And breathe it out. Lovely, taking the right hand in front of you now, palm to face you. Left arm swings over, under even. Backs of the hands together or palms together. And just breathe there. Opening out through the back of the shoulders. Take the arms wide, lovely. This time left arm comes in front. Right arm under, backs of the hands or palms together. And again, just breathing there. Arms wide once again. Wriggle and shake. Bring the hands towards the hips, just moving the hips round. Circling the hips in time with your breath. One direction and the other. Lovely. Coming towards the front of your mats now for our sun salutations. Bringing the hands towards the lower back and just engaging the pelvic floor, lower tummy muscles just to support the lower spine. So think of opening out through the back, lifting up, opening through the heart space as you turn those hips forward and then come back to centre. So we'll do the same again, palms of the hands together, arms come in line with the ears, gentle back bend, and then we're going to fold forwards through the hips, all the way down, slight bend in the knees if you need to. Bring the hands to shins, nice flat back. Bring the hands down, stepping one foot then the other into your plank. Breathing there. Just looking down towards the space between the hands. Lower the knees down, tucking the elbows in, coming up into an up dog or low cobra or sphinx as that feels better for you today. Breathing there. Coming back to all fours. Tuck your toes under and back into a downward dog. Taking three nourishing breaths here. Mm. 
Lovely guys, bending one knee down the other, so walking the dog here. We can walk, step or jump the feet back towards the hands. Bend the knees, reverse one dive, coming all the way up. And the arms back to a neutral position. Lovely. And then as you do that one again, take the arms in line with the ears, folding forward. Hands to shins, nice flat back. And again, stepping the feet into a plank position. Lowering your knees, tucking the elbows in, coming up into low cobra or up dog or swing. And then coming back into your downward dog, taking three nourishing breaths here. Bending one knee down the other. When you're ready, walk, step or jump the feet back towards the hands. Bend the knees, coming all the way back up to centre. When you're ready, we'll come into Surya Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. So this time, take the arms up in line with the ears, and we're going to swan dive all the way down. So turn the palms away from the hips, come all the way down through the spine. Bring the hands to your shins, nice flat back. And this time we're going to step the right foot back as far as is comfortable, so coming into a lunge. Lowering the right knee, releasing the right foot. And if you feel comfortable to do so, you can take the weight up here. And you can take the arms up, arms, palms to face one another. Or if you want to, you can bring the palms together, interlock the fingers, looking up towards the space between the thumbs. Just do what feels right for you, no stress or strain. Lovely, lowering the hands down, stepping that left foot back to meet the right into your plank. the knees, tucking the elbows in, coming up into your up dog or low cobra, and back into your downward dog, taking three nourishing breaths once again. Wonderful guys, bending one knee down the other. You can walk, step or jump the feet back towards the hands, bend those knees, reverse swan dive, protect the spine, come up slowly and mindfully, bring the palms back to centre when you're ready. Just take a few moments here so you don't feel lightheaded, just breathing there. If you need a glass of water at any time, feel free to grab. When you're ready. Do the same on the other side. So arms come up. We're going to swan dive down. So turn the palms away, all the way down. Bring the hands to shins, nice flat back. This time we're going to step that left foot back, lowering the left knee, release the left foot. Well done, guys. Taking the hands towards that front thigh. Option one, just resting here, or you can take the arms up in line with the ears. Or if you wish to bring the palms together, looking towards the space between the thumbs. Breathing there. Lovely, lowering back down. Bringing the knee down. And this time we're just going to bring the weight back into a child's pose. So resting back on the heels. Knees together or knees wide. I like to bring the knees together at this point, but it's completely up to you. You can bring your hands back towards your feet if you wish to as well, or out of in front of your spine. And just breathe there. Closing your eyes to internalize. As we begin to slow down now, bringing the energy back down towards the ground. The hard work is done. It's time.
and to relax and unwind. Guys, from here we're going to rest back onto our stomach, so releasing the spine down, and we'll come into our flapping fish from here, making a triangle with the hands, imaginary magnet on the left elbow and the left knee, and just resting on the right side now, closing the eyes, just release completely. Wonderful guys, doing the same on the other side. Lengthening the right leg, imaginary magnets on the left elbow, left knee, just breathing there. Wonderful guys, come back to centre, push the weight back once again, in your child's pose, just resting here for a few moments. You can take the knees wide this time if you want to, arms out. Push through the hands, and slowly, slowly come back up. Tuck the toes under to sit on the heels for a few moments. Maybe first finger and thumb together, shoulders open. And then releasing the legs in front, feet as wide as the mat. Just begin to draw the knees from side to side, easing out through the hips. And we're going to come into a supported bridge pose now. So if you have a block, might be in the form of a book or foam cushion, we're simply going to bring the feet, so the feet in line with the hips, the knees in line with the hips, and we're going to just raise the hips up. So drawing and taking that block. So maybe this edge, maybe the longer, slightly thinner edge here, feels quite good, or you can come down and notch. Just do what feels good for you. Don't want to come up too high, we're going to keep this quite restorative and calm here. So resting the arms down towards your sides. If this is particularly uncomfortable, a nice option here is to take your rolled blanket, if you can be bothered to reach for it, and just place it over the block. If that feels good, just to soften the edges, this is an option. And just take your arms beside you, maybe the palms facing up as an act of surrender. So think of that lymphatic drainage occurring as you breathe, so softening through the glands, through the groins, into that thyroid, the area of the throat helping us to 
regulate our immune defences, getting rid of any unwanted coughs and colds. Can you imagine this wonderful rejuvenating sensation here? So it's sending the oxygenated blood to the thyroid, relaxing the head and neck, softening your shoulders. And just release here. Think of sending that breath all the way to your belly as you do so. Cleansing deep breaths. Softening and melting as you breathe out. that gentle detoxification of every breath. So from here we'll come into waterfall pose. So turning that block down or releasing the block altogether if it's uncomfortable, we're simply going to take the legs up towards the ceiling. This feels really wonderful, this posture. The end of a long day, it's a good one to practice. You can use your headboard. Just making sure that your hips are slightly raised. This really helps for the lymphatic drainage to occur. Tired legs been on your feet all day. Also if you're overheated it's a great way to cool down the body using maybe a wall if you wish to as a more restorative posture. But for now we'll just keep the legs up as you breathe and then slowly release the feet back down, take the weight into the feet as you move the block away from you, keeping the blanket, just hug the knees in towards the chest. Take a few nourishing breaths here. Maybe gentle rock from side to side. As we prepare now for a deep relaxation, so make yourselves really comfortable now. Even a blanket maybe, eye pillow, worked really hard today so just enjoy this time of deep relaxation so resting your arms wherever comfortable allow the feet just to fall out to the sides allow your arms to rest so we're just imagining now rotation of consciousness each part of the body surrender and releasing so just allow my words to wash over you as we allow the parts of the body to relax completely. Beginning to relax the toes, the feet, the ankles, both of my toes, my feet and ankles, completely relax. my shins and calves, my knees, my knee joint, my thighs, my hamstrings, my hip joint. Both of my legs are relaxing. Both of my legs are completely relaxed. I'm relaxing my hips and pelvis, 
my glutes, my hips, my pelvis, my glutes are completely relaxed. lungs, all of my internal organs completely relaxing. I'm relaxing spine, my lower, mid, upper spine and back, the whole of my back and my spine completely relaxed. shoulders, my shoulder blades, shoulder girdle, both of my shoulders are completely relaxed. facial muscles, my eyebrows, my forehead, eyes, cheeks, nose, ears, mouth, throat, lips, teeth, jaw, back of my head, brain and skull, the whole of my head is relaxing, the whole of my head is completely relaxed. Relaxing my whole body, whole body relaxing. My whole body is completely relaxed.
energy now, taking a few deeper breaths in through the nose, softly sighing out through the mouth. Beginning through the nose, sighing through the mouth, wiggling fingers and toes. When you're ready, placing right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart, becoming aware of the body breathing itself without any effort from you. Maybe just drawing your attention back that intention you made at the start of the practice. Imagine that positive seed of intention bearing fruit now, blossoming into a beautiful flower or tree. Imagine its wonderful fragrance as you breathe, spreading far and wide. Positive intention spreading as far and as wide as you wish to send it to anyone who needs your positivity now. Send it like a brilliant light. And as we close our practice, imagine that brilliant light turning back in towards you, in deep into your heart space, taking your arms overhead beginning to wriggle fingers and toes, rotating wrists and ankles, gently lengthening and stretching. And as you breathe out, beginning to draw the feet down to the ground, maybe pressing through the feet as you lift the hips up slightly and hugging your knees in towards your chest. You can hold it still here or make a bit of movement if you wish to, do whatever happens naturally to the body you wish to do now, rocking from side to side, circling the knees. Just do what feels good for you now. When you're ready, take the weight over to the right side. And just resting on one side for a few moments here with the eyes closed. Keeping the eyes closed, just turning the palms down towards the ground. We're going to bring ourselves up to a comfortable seated posture. Resting the hands, maybe first thing with the bum together, and the knees on the lap, or just one hand on top of the other is fine. Close your eyes and just notice with a gentle awareness how you're feeling now. judgment or expectation here. When you're ready, bring the palms of the hands to the heart space. We'll make the chant of Om just once to end the practice. So when you're ready, nice deep breath in. shoulders down. Opening your eyes in darkness when you're ready. And just allow the hands to melt down away from the face, opening your eyes. And we'll be bringing the hands to the head for the right thoughts, to the mouth, for the right words, and to your hearts for the right intentions. Namaste.